Hey, what's happening, guys? Today we're going to take a look at this the Coates Multifunction Voltage Tester, the ST100. Read this manual thoroughly. Well, well, we'll glance at it. How's that? Oh, wow. Okay, so we got our non-contact voltage sensor, signal integrity, intensity indicator, bar graph, LCD display function key, function key input jack. Those auto measurements. Frequency measurements, capacitance, live wire. Okay, so this is a full featured. Um, multimeter. Interesting. So it's it's like, uh, you know, an electrician's voltage test or form factor, but it's a multimeter and it's even got jacks in the bottom of it. Very, very interesting. Let's put some batteries in here and take a look. Use the triple A's. Just looking to see which way the batteries go in. The screw here is not captive, so be careful, or it could very easily get away. NCV, non-contact voltage. Live NCV. Okay. Let's uh go back here to the power strip. Hmm, not getting anything. One moment. Here we go, we'll check here at the uh the oscilloscope. You gotta get it right up on there. Let's go back down here. Nothing there, but there we go. You can see the red blinking and then the bar graph is almost all the way up. So that's very interesting. Let's go ahead here and hit the function button. We get auto, which says, I don't know how well you guys can see in there. Now let me turn this light off. There we go, we'll focus, there. So you can see we have voltage, resistance, and continuity. So it'll test any of those automatically. Very cool. Let me get some, uh, some probes. You know, as our tradition is here, we test every meter with the same set of probes. And the reason for that is that we eliminate any resistance, capacitance, or inductance in the probes that come with these meters, and we're just testing the meters. All right. 
So I guess the first thing we can test is continuity. You can hear it beeping. It says zero. We have a red light there. Let's do this again. Very good. All right, let's bring in the AD584M voltage tester, which is currently set for 10 volts. And we get 10.02, 2.5 volts, 2.508. Five volts, five oh one, and seven and a half volts, seven point five one. So you know, these days with multimeters, there's really no trouble with them reading. Um, it's accurate enough. Everything's digital. Let's try the function button again. Okay, now we have hertz. Let's see what our specs are on that. AC, resistance, continuity, capacitance, frequency. So up to 40 megahertz. All right, we can do that. Let's go over here. Turn on the function generator. That's interesting. So what did it say? Four megahertz? Uh, frequency. So there's a four megahertz sine wave coming out of channel one. And we get 3.996 megahertz. And what was the lower limit? 40 hertz. So there's 40 hertz. And we're getting 39.95. So that's great. Capacitance. Let's see if we got a capacitor here. No problem. Here is a 0.22 microfarad. And the first thing I'm going to do is make sure I just short it out. And I'll put my little mini grabbers on here. This is my favorite accessory. and negative ah, should have known that would have happened she's thinking about it oh let's try this again Point two two, we're getting point two three. Right, let's try a different value. What is this tiny little guy? Four point seven. 
once again, I just want to sort it out and make sure no residual charge in there. Okay, there you go, 4.7, we're getting 4.84. It's fast, it's accurate. Very cool. Ah, diode test, okay. I just happen to have some diodes right here. Try again. Wow, these don't want to stick. Come on. There we go. And we get a voltage drop of 0.192. So shock keys, obviously. And then we're back. All right, let's have a look inside. So it's February 13th. Yesterday was the Super Bowl. Congratulations to the Kansas City Chiefs on their win. Okay, so there is not much going on here. Let's uh, get some more light on this subject. So we've got our non-contact voltage sensor, just, which is basically just a uh, PCB strip antenna. Right there, you can see a little metal piece. And then there's our LED that blinks up there. There's our negative battery contact. There's our chip on board with a little bit of epoxy over top of it. Just a cheap way to do it. Oh, look at this here. We got us a programming interface. That's interesting. Other than that, you know, there's an inductor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine transistors, a couple of MILF resistors, buzzer. What you're not going to see here is a lot of protection. Let's uh, go ahead and get a little bit deeper. See what we can see on the other side of this board. For those of you who are wondering about the uh, East Palestine train crash, I'm about 40 miles from there, so I'm outside of the evacuation zone, but that is just insane what's going on there. And here's the thing, um, was it December, either late December or early January, Norfolk Southern had another derailment right here outside of Toronto. So that's, uh, you know... That's a lot, because I don't remember a derailment other than that since I was a kid. Okay, so on this side we have a couple of mobs, which is a little bit of protection, and we have a relay, and that's really it. 
Now I got the circuit board back in and then get ready to put the case back on. I just looked on the inside. This is really, really nice industrial engineering to put all this together. Nice little integral battery slide in tray. Just very nice work in this all together. Nice fit and feel. And a nice unique little um, compact form factor. Like this is something you could easily throw in a jacket pocket and leave it there and, you know, forget about it. But you've always got a meter ready to roll. There's our flashlight because you know you gotta have a flashlight. But very cool. This is the uh Kuit ST one hundred. Let's uh go over to the computer and see if we can find a purchase link for it. Okay, so I couldn't find a link to this one on their website. Only have a link to one called the uh, ST120, which appears to have all the same functionality as this, except it has the uh, <clears throat> the positive probe built into the end of it. Actually, I like this better. Yeah, I like this better. But they retail for right around twenty dollars, so that's a really nice little compact multimeter for twenty dollars. Yeah, I will throw that in a tool bag and uh, have a meter ready whenever I need one. I'd like to thank Kuwait's for sending that out to us free of charge for our consideration. And I would like to thank you guys for watching. I'd also like to thank my patrons for supporting this channel. You know, guys, I wouldn't be here without you watching this. We're going on uh, eight years of Learn Electronics. And uh, the hardest thing at this point is just coming up with new ideas. So it's great when companies can send this stuff out and I can show it to you guys. And we can sit here and have a little chat. All right, guys, that's it. I'm out. Peace.